Hello everybody and welcome to a beautiful night under the lights here at Charlotte Motor Speedway for round number seven in the Wiley X Truck Series here at Noble Motorsport. Ben Kilcrease to call the action tonight. Sam Taylor is getting the picture that you see to you. Final three races begins tonight after a two-week holiday break. We just got off of Milt Matisse comes in with the points lead. Two points behind him is Christopher Herlow. Two points behind Herlow. Four behind Matisse is Dual John Baldrin. And six points back in fourth position is Kevin Ford. So tight, tight points battle heading into the night. We'll see how that shapes out here in just a moment. Right now we need to head down trackside for tonight's the National Anthem. On behalf of iRacing.com, Motorsport Simulations, Noble Motorsport, Wiley X, and all of our other sponsors, welcome to Charlotte Motor Speedway for round number seven in the Wiley X Truck Series. And I tell you what, it's going to be a dandy tonight. Milt Matisse comes in only two points ahead of Christopher Herlow, four points ahead of John Bolton, and six points ahead of Kevin Ford. Top four in points, separated by only six Heading into the final three races, and when and without further ado, let's go ahead and go over the starting grid for tonight's event. 85 laps under the lights here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. 73 degrees, winds blowing out of the west at uh, around a steady 5 to 6 miles per hour here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Wait for a few of the trunks to pop up on the grid so you actually have something to visualize. Once again, I've been Kilcrease, and uh, I'll be calling the action tonight. Loner in the booth, unless Andy Kessler crashes out, then he's going to go jump up here and help me out. Sam Taylor is our producer tonight, getting the picture that you see to you. Wallace Boyce is there now, so let's go ahead and look at the starting lineup with a time of 29.510. Wallace Boyce in the 28th. Set the quick time tonight. He'll roll off on the pole. Joel Eddick sits second in the number 44. Row number two. Ross Cato on the inside. Washington in the triple zero on the outside. Starting fifth. Inside row number three. Leandro Schmidt to his outside is the number two. Sixth starting position. Kenny Baum Jr. Starting seventh on the inside of row number four. Dylan Brockwell in the number 20. Chris Herlow starts outside in the eighth position. Brian Terry rolls off ninth and a 92. Tenth is the number 51 of Nathan Shiflett. Starting 11th is the number five of Mitch Lennon, last night's winner at Las Vegas. Starting 12th is the 03 of Kevin Carr. 07 inside, Kevin Ford in the 32, starts 13th, 14th in the number 25, it's Doug Blackman. 
Mike Horn rolls off 15th into number 70. 16th is our good old pal Andy Kessler in the 84. David Kamer rolls off 17th in the 71. Stephane Brunel is 18th in the number 79. Charles Lemaire, the last truck to take a time in qualifying. He rolls off 19th in the number 34. In the number 05, it's Milt Matisse. He rolls off 20th. Points leader Milt Matisse, by the way, Dual John Boldrin, who sits third in points. He rolls off 21st. Wyatt Wolf is 22nd. 23rd is Alex Baleo and Chris Circoli rounds out the field here, and that's the starting lineup for the 85 lapper at Charlotte Motor Speedway in the Wiley X Truck Series, right here live on Noble Network One. Lights out on the iRacing.com Ford Mustang Pace Car. Let's go ahead and get our picks in. Sam Taylor's going with Kenny Baum Jr. I'm going to go with the number five of Mitch Lennon before we go green. That's the Noble Network one signature picks of the race. This is the way to get into the higher divisions of Noble. This is the way to get your name known in sim racing, to win the championship in the truck series here at No Bull Motorsport. Matisse, Perlow, Bultrin, and Ford are all trying to do that, and they could be closer or further away tonight. They'll stack them up two by two by two. This is the No Bull Wiley X Truck Series at Charlotte. Dead heat in the corner number one with Anakin Boyce on the front row. They're still side by side. Boyce has a slight advantage. Heading to the back straightaway. Here comes Cato trying to work his way now to second. He has a nose on Eddie down the back stretch. Washington's on the high side trying to follow the 44. Heading in the corner number three. Wallace Boyce single file out in front. Oh, he tags the apron there. He gets loose. Cato puts the bumper. Boyce goes around on the first straightaway. He's through the grass. Everybody stacks up behind. No caution as Wallace Boyce, your pole sitter, slides to the grass early on here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Wow. Extreme action on lap number one already. And this one, Eddick is your leader. Here comes Washington to put the bumper to him, heading into corner number one. Dave Washington, when we said we were going to Charlotte this week, he said, oh, Washington does not like this track, but you would never know that if he didn't tell you because he is beaten on the rear bumper of Joe Eddick, looking for the lead in corner number three as Kenny Baum Jr. sits third. Top three, tell the nose. As we look down from the Noble Network One shopper, Kenny Brown Jr., a winner in the Truck Series this season. Back at Phoenix, looking to do it again here tonight at Charlotte. They're tail to nose, just behind them. A side-by-side -side battle between Ross Cato, Christopher Herlow, and Nathan Shiflet. Shiflet, my goodness, where has this dude been? Been on a long hiatus from West Pro Series. Been on a long hiatus from Noble Motorsport. He comes back tonight and he sits sixth here in the Trump Series at Charlotte Motor Speedway as we complete lap number four and begin work on five. Shiflet working his way around the outside of Cato. Cato, remember, got at the voice when he got sideways in corner number four. Cato had a little bit of damage on the front of his truck. That could be slowing him down in the early going. Back behind the, those guys, we'll go back to seventh position, Dylan Brockwell. This guy, my goodness, he was just on a roll last season. And he sits seventh right now, looking to make his way into the top five here pretty soon. Just behind him, Leon Joe Schmidt. He's been fairly decent the whole season. Just couldn't quite be there at the end of the races like he'd like to. Kevin Ford, who sits fourth in points. He sits ninth on the track right now and rounding out the top ten as we run. It's Brian Terry in the 92. He's actually looking to the inside of Ford. Not going to force the issue, though, there. 
Nothing's changed up front. It's still Joel Eddick leading Dave Washington and Kenny Bob Jr. Those guys just kind of riding. Battle for fourth, though. Shiflett did make his way up to fourth, and now he's falling back to fifth at the moment at the line of Turlo that has it this lap, but Shiflett trying to fight back on the outside. Shiflett has that run on the outside. We saw it in the last race, last season here. That outside line is really where you want to be if you want to be able to hold off, defend, and even make a pass. As just behind them, my goodness, Dylan Brockwell almost got in to Ross Cato. Off the corner number four, Brockwell is coming through this field. Hurtlow finally clears Shiflett. Thought Shiflett was going to go low. He decided better of it. Working on lap 10 already here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. We've been cleaning green since the drop of the green. At a very rare occurrence we hardly ever see happen, but the pole sitter, Wallace Bully, uh, attacking Avery, got loose in turn four, and K uh, Ross Cato just had nowhere to go but into the back of him, and Boyce went sliding through the grass. Cato was able to continue on, but has a little bit of damage right now that could be hindering his trunk in this run. Focusing on the top three right now, and these guys are almost in a three-truck tandem around this whole mile and a half speedway. Washington, if he wanted to, he could make the move any time and any place on this track, but he's just riding. That's how Dave Washington works his races. He'll ride, ride, ride until the finish. When it comes down to it, he'll be right there in the lead with a chance to win here later. On board with Eddick right now, looking back at Washington and Baum. You see Washington really gets a real good run off the corners, even down the straightaways, but doesn't do anything with it. He just closes up to his bumper, pushes him down the straightaway, lets off in the corner, sneaks his... Sneaks his nose out to breathe every once in a while and then back to the same routine. So, top three kind of tandeming, the three behind them. Herlow, Brockwell, and Shiflett. Somewhat in a tandem. And then we have the loner, Mitch Lennon. He's just kind of riding out there by himself at the moment. And Kevin Ford sits eighth. Schmidt is ninth. Ryan Terry still runs tenth. But Ross Cato, big story. He's dropped all the way back to the 12th position after starting third in this race. Hey, they're going to lose another position to Mike Horn. So my goodness. Just ahead of them, Brian Terry. Looking to start making some noise. He looks to be in shot of Schmidt heading down into corner number one. This is for the ninth position on the track. Ooh, got a little close there. But Terry picks up that position. Mitch Lennon just ahead of those guys looking for the sixth position trying to get that away from Nathan Shiflett. Schiff was going to pinch him though through three and four. They're side by side off of uh, down the front straightaway. This is for sixth position. Shiflett held it at the line.
Shiflet starting to pull a slight advantage now. Or he did down the back stretch. Lennon takes it all right back down the front straightaway. It's a dead heat to the line. It looks like Shiflet's going to be scored with sixth again that lap. But Mitch Lennon really trying his best to get around him. Lennon has won the past two nights in a row, looking to make it his third winning night in a row here. Tonight he won Sunday in the West Pro Series Late Model New Year's Bash 363K at USA Speedway in the last drive at the Power Tank Power Solutions Nationwide Series at Las Vegas. Chip flip pushes up right there, gets loose, almost tank Lennon, but now if Lennon clears him on the front stretch and bump Mitch Lennon to the sixth position. Working lap number 20 of the 85 lap for almost one fourth of the way through this race tonight. We need to pay some bills here at the network. Kenny Baum Jr. sits third right now. Dave Washington sits second and enjoyed it. Started on the outside pole. He is your leader. As we finish lap number 20 and begin 21, We'll be right back after these messages from our sponsors right here on Noble Network One. Does a real race car have a center post? Of course not, and neither should your race rig. The RC Evo V3 with its unique design has no center post. The RC Evo replicates what you would be accustomed to in your daily driver or something you may take to the track. It can accommodate drivers from 4 foot 11 up to over 6 foot 6 inches tall and is pre-drilled for all of the major wheel manufacturers on the market today. When it comes to performance, look no further than the RC Evo V3. Check out the RC Evo and other sim racing equipment by heading to www.rc.net. I felt it all at the hall. Where it's a cool 33 degrees. We experienced it all at the hall, where my son became the fastest man ever. I relived it all at the hall, where my grandson asked me, did you really do all that? Experience high octane fun during NASCAR Hall of Fame's Cure for the Common Summer, presented by Coca-Cola. We're back here at Noble Network One. Kenny Baum Jr., the first of the lead lap cars to uh, trucks to pull down the pit road. Mitch Lennon follows right behind him. And we have pit stops starting to occur right now on lap number 24 here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Getting word on the radio right now that our leader, Joel Eddick, will be heading to the pits. So here we go. Dave Washington going to pick up the lead for the first time. Is that it? Real slow, comes down the pit road. Herlow's going to follow him. Looks like Shiflet's going to be down as well. So pit stop's definitely starting to begin here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And we'll let everything cycle around before we even attempt to get you any live updates. While we are running through these this round of pit stops I should say we encourage you to join us on Sunday nights in the West Pro Series late model division a very very upcoming big super a big late model division in iRacing spanning across all the short tracks in America that's available on iRacing racing 125 laps with tire rules that make it oh so interesting You'll want to tune in and see for yourself. That's the West Coast Series Late Model Division, Sunday nights at 9, 10 Eastern.
So everything's starting to slowly get cycled around here. Still got some drivers on pit road. Uh, Schmidt, Terry, Cato, Arn, Boldrin. Certainly does look though the way things are starting to shape out that we could quite possibly have a new leader. But once again, we'll let everything cycle around before we notify you on that. Once again, you're watching round number seven of the Wiley X Truck Series here at Noble Motorsport Live on Noble Network One from Charlotte Motor Speedway. We're working lap number 28 of 85. And this one, a very comfortable 73 degrees here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Winds blowing out of the south now at a, about three to four miles per hour with dust up around 10. Which could be uh, proved to be a problem for some of these drivers. In practice, we saw the gust hit 15 miles per hour, and the trucks really got tied off corner number four. Almost, even a few guys almost tagged the wall. So it is very likely to see these guys push up off the corner number four if the wind gets too gusty and that's the thing they added in the last build here at iRacing about the only good thing they've added in the past year or so I'd say is the uh, is the weather conditions of course we're all hoping for possibly a green white checkered in the next build <laughs> it's not an open network one broadcast unless I get a dab at a, a jab at a green white checker then at Iris. The next build coming up oh so soon, mid January. Could see the late model, could see a few new tracks. Never mind getting where the late model's been delayed. Got a truck around. It I'm trying to see who it was. It looks like it might have been Kevin Ford in the 32. Uh, Kevin Ford, 32. My goodness, he saved that thing all the way down the front straightaway. While I was looking at the replay, Dylan Brockwell has jumped his way up to the second position. Bob Jr. has fallen back to fourth. Mitch Lennon up to third. And these four guys right here are the ones that I figured would be at the top of this thing. And we need to throw Sam's pick in there as well, who sits fifth right now, Brian Terry. But Washington's leading. I'm sorry. Sam Taylor went with Kenny Bob Jr. We were talking about whose picks we were going to go with, and he said Terry earlier. Or he said he used to pick Terry all the time. I had that in my mind. So Kenny Bob Jr., Sam's pick, is four. And my pick is third. So as far as the picks go, I am in the lead. But like I was saying, these are the top four guys that we figured would be on top of the thing tonight. Dylan Brockwell, of course, running second. Washington, uh, any time he shows up, he's a factor to win. Mitch Lennon, he's real good in the trucks. And, of course, Kenny Baum Jr., you cannot count him out. Lap truck is Doug Blackman, just ahead of these guys. I'm pretty sure Doug will get out the way. Doug the other night in TeamSpeak 
shared us all a uh, link that we'll never forget here in the Noble Motorsports team speak. And if you want to know what that link would be, just uh, hit up Doug Blackman. I'm pretty sure he'll be able to, to, <laughs> to get it to you. <laughs> My goodness. So, top four somewhat spread out a little earlier in the race, or a little, a few laps ago, I should say. Now they're slowly, slowly, slowly starting to bunch back up and get in line, like we saw at the beginning of the race. I just wonder if they'll ride like we saw at the beginning of the race, or if they'll be a little bit more aggressive and try to actually overtake each other. We'll have to wait and find out. We hope you all had a very, very good, safe holiday season. Hope you didn't eat too much. Hope you didn't get spoiled too much with presents. But we are glad to be back racing here at Noble Motorsport. If you want to keep up with the latest in Noble Motorsport, just head on over to Facebook, search Noble Motorsport, and give us a like. We post often on race winners and upcoming events etc that's at the Novo Motorsport Facebook if you want to sign up if you like what you see want to get into it just head on over to noblemotorsport.com you can also find full points and full results on noblemotorsport.com So here we go, Brockwell pulls up on the bumper of Washington, battles for the lead here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. He's finally punched himself into the draft. Lennon has caught the draft as well. Does Brockwell try and make a move? He is on Dave's team, so we'll have to wait and see what he decides to do. Front straight away, Brockwell gets the run out of the corner, but he does not put any pressure on Washington heading into one. Halfway here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. What you're seeing right now is the best and biggest battle on the track right now. Top four are the closest trucks on the track. Here comes Mitch Lennon. He has a good run for the trioval. He sticks his nose in, and here comes Mitch Lennon looking to take second away from Dylan Brockwell. He'll do so on the back straightaway. Washington might have tied the apron in four right there. Looks like he got a little loose. Here comes Lennon. You can see the gap visually closing. He's got the draft. He's clinched in. He closes in at one. Mitch Lennon in the five is on the move. Guess these guys were just trying to make it to halfway and then they were going to start racing. 
But that's exactly what they've done. Lennon wants it turn halfway. He got around Broccoli, sticks his nose in on Washington. Here comes Mitch Lennon looking for the lead. He pushes up a little there. Washington is not going to give him too much room on the bottom. Lennon has a bumper down the back stretch, but they're virtually dead even heading into three. Coming off a of corner number four, Washington doesn't have anything for it. Mitch Lennon leads for the first time here in Charlotte. Lap truck ahead though, and he's on the bottom. Whoa, does Lennon, <laughs> he almost got the bumper from Washington there. Here comes Washington, trying to look back low. He does, here comes Washington, the kill crease crossover heading into turn number three. Oh, but he pushes up. My goodness, did he get real tight there. And now he has to regain. Lennon has a two-truck length lead heading into turn one, while Washington gets it back under himself. He has to try again. He tags the apron a little there, but it looks like it just helped, helped turn the truck more. Back straight away. Washington has a run. Closing up on 35 laps to go in this race. Kenny Bob Jr. to pit road. We saw him the first time. Whoa, traffic for the leaders. That got a little interesting. Kenny Bob Jr. pitted the first time last time. Does the same this time. Mitch Lennon looks as if he'll be coming in this time. He will. Whoa, my goodness. That was close as they went three wide. Right there. Eddick is down pit road. Lennon looked fast entering pit road there. We'll have to wait and see what the officials say. Yep, and Mitch Lennon caught speeding. He is serving his penalty now. Oh, my. Oh, and Christopher Herlow. He missed pit road. Couldn't get woed down at time. No, we actually just got Lou. I don't know. It's like he might have missed pit road there. Into number 87. And now he might be out of gas on the back straightaway. Oh, my. This is not good for second place in points. Came into the night. Two points behind Milt Matisse. Now he's just watching every truck go by as he loses another point and another and another as he slows to a crawl on the apron in corner number three and four. He'll be lucky to make it back to his pit stop. An unbelievable turn of events here at Charlotte Motor Speedway on our second round of pit stops. We're gonna let everything cycle around. We're gonna do some, we're gonna pay some bills. But don't worry, we'll be right back live on Noble Network One.
Welcome back to Charlotte Motor Speedway, the Wiley X Truck Series. 85 lapper, where uh, we've just taken 30 to go, right at 30 to go. And Kenny Bob Jr. is your leader. And he did so by strategy on pit road, taking two tires. Gets him out three seconds ahead of Dave Washington with the potential to win this race now. Washington's in second, Brockwell is third. Joe Lennox has cracked his way back into the top five. He sits fourth. And let's look at the, the, the points. As we run right now, Milt Matisse, he sits seventh. He was your points leader heading into tonight. Christopher Herlow, who was sitting second in the points, he is 21st. Duljan Boldrin, who sits third in points, he is 13th. And Kevin Ford, who is fourth in points, way back in 23rd position. So Milt Matisse with his consistent run here so far. Looks as if he could advance his lead here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. We have yet to have a, the first caution. Tonight we've been clean and green since lap one of this one and we've seen some awesome racing so far and I bet it's gonna get pretty heated here within the next couple of laps as well. Kayvon Jr., once again, your leader, got there by producing some pit strategy. Two seconds ahead of Dave Washington as we run right now. Kitty Bomb getting past Andy Kessler. Head hot show at the network. Boom! <laughs> I got a little close between Stephane Brunel and Kessler there. Washington, though, is really cutting into that gap that Kenny Bum Jr. has worked up. Bob, though, has a slight advantage. He is at the front of a four-trunk pack. So Washington has to work around those drivers and trucks to get to Kenny Bob Jr., which will slow him down just a little bit. And we could quite possibly see another pin stop here before we take the checkers. Kenny Bob Jr.'s lead cut down to 1.6. That pass time by. Already got a two truck coming in already for their last pit stop. Have to see what others decide to do, what kind of strategy they go with. Tell you what, though, fuel strategy will be the winner of this race tonight, I do believe. Our pit strategy, I should say, will be the winner of this race because Kenny Bob Jr. pulled an amazing stop right there, only taking two tires. He gets him out quite a bit ahead of Washington and the rest of the guys. He's been able to, it's kind of leveled off now, the time has. Washington isn't gaining, but only about a half a tenth here and there. But here comes Washington. He gets to the inside of Kessler. He brings Brockwell with him. 
Washington on the hunt. 20 laps to go here at Charlotte. Get you an updated lineup of the whole field as they run right now, or as the scoring has them scored on my score monitor. Kenny Bob Jr., Dave Washington, Dylan Brock, Will Mitchell, Eddie Blanche, that's top five. Mitch Lennon, Milt Matisse, Leandro Schmidt, Wyatt Wolf, and Kevin Carr, that's top ten. Boltron, Blackman, Stephane, Burnell, Mike Arn, Andy Kessler, that is top fifteen. Chris Cooley, Alex Vallejo, Charles Lemaire, Ross Cato, Chris Herlow, that's top 20. And 21st is Wallace Boyce, Camara, Ford, and Nathan Shiflett rounds out the field. He sits 24th. Again, the strategy has the announcer baffled, which is a usual thing in these races, especially at Noble Motorsport, because there's no telling who's on what strategy, what their uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I just answered to my producer, and that shows you how mixed up I got there. Kenny Bob Jr. gives up the lead to head the pit road. And Dave Washington takes it. That makes Washington and Brockwell now the battle for the lead. As they head through one and two, we haven't seen Brockwell try to yet make a move on Dave Washington. Although we are closing in on 15 laps to go, I think all bets are out the window now. Here comes Washington and Brockwell. And look at this, Brockwell's trying to beat him on pit road. Gotta be careful not to speed though. We saw what happened to Mitch Lennon. It can happen to anybody. So, we'll wait and see. Brockwell only takes two tires, so does Dave, but Brockwell beats him out. And there goes Kenny Bump Jr. Just ahead of them, so we'll wait to see what shakes out here, how everything cycles around. Being scored right now, the leader is Mitch Lennon. But I'm certainly positive that could, that's going to change here pretty soon. Lennon stays out another lap. 12 to go for Mitch Lennon here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Milt Matisse, points leader, is second. There's Chris Herlow just going below him. He was second coming into the night in the points. He sits 20th right now. Third is John Baldwin. He came into the night third in points. Just behind him, Kevin Ford came in fourth in the points. Mitchell is down pit road. 
Bill Matisse stayed out to get that extra lap led right there, so that's always a good strategy. Look for him to probably head on down the pit road this time by, I would imagine. And we are less than 10 to go here at Charlotte Motor Speedway in the Noble Wiley X Truck Series. John Bolger being scored your leader. He's still out on the track. Nine to go. Bolger might be trying to make it. He'll stay out again this time. Eight to go for Dual John Aldrin. This will be big for him and the points if he can do it. Kenny Baum Jr. on the same straightaway as Baldrin. So Baldrin doesn't really have too much room to save seven to go I'm going with Aldrin right now looking back Kevin Ford Ford is 20 is in the 22nd position multiple laps down not in the battle. Here comes Bolger. Coming to the pits. He gives up the lead to Kenny Baum Jr., who at the line has six laps to go. And look who is starting to catch him. That's Dylan Brockwell in the number 20. Oh, do we have a race on our hands now, ladies and gentlemen? Brockwell on the fresh tires. Baum on the old tires. Not too far back is Dave Washington, who sits third through three and four. Kenny Baum Jr. is going to look up at the flag man, and he's going to be holding five fingers for five to go here in Charlotte. The strategy played out well for Baum. Up until this point, he has nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Kenny Bob Jr. has been caught, but can he fend him off? Four to go, here comes Brockwell looking at the inside. Lap traffic ahead, can he use those as a pick? Three, one and two, Bob just doesn't have anything for him. Brockwell clears him. Rockwell runs up on the lap traffic. Does it go to the inside? Does it go to the outside? Three to go. My goodness, what a shot this is. We didn't think you would even have a chance. After the last pit stop, buddy, here he is. Through corner number four, Pop Sickle sticks at the flag stand for Dylan Brockwell. No more traffic ahead for Brockwell. Clean racetrack for the number 20 machine. 
through three and four. Dylan Brockwell sees the white flag. He's got a mile and a half. Great pit stop the last time by. Fast, two tires, and a splash of fuel is what got him to where he is at right now. Back straight away, half a lap for Dylan Brockwell. Last season, he was the man to beat in the truck series. Tonight, it's the same way. Dylan Brockwell wins round seven at Charlotte. Kenny Bob Jr. holds on to second place. Dave Washington comes on third. Fourth was Joel Eddick. And rounding out the top five, Milt Matisse heading through corner number four right now. And oh, contact Kevin Carr goes around. Look out. Oh, gets collected. A big crash to the trioval. Charles Lemaire involved. And Brian Terry got a piece of it too. And that was the only big crash we had the whole race. So a spectacular race here at the Wiley X Truck Series. We'll talk to the winner right after this. Does a real race car have a center post? Of course not, and neither should your race rig. The RC Evo V3 with its unique design has no center post. The RC Evo replicates what you would be accustomed to in your daily driver or something you may take to the track. It can accommodate drivers from 4 foot 11 up to over 6 foot 6 inches tall and is pre-drilled for all of the major wheel manufacturers on the market today. When it comes to performance, look no further than the RC Evo V3. Check out the RC Evo and other sim racing equipment by heading to www.rc.net. I felt it all at the hall. Where it's a cool 33 degrees. We experienced it all at the hall, where my son became the fastest man ever. I relived it all at the hall, where my grandson asked me, did you really do all that? Experience high octane fun during NASCAR Hall of Fame's Cure for the Common Summer, presented by Coca-Cola. We are back here at Noble Network 1. And after a great race in the Wiley X Truck Series. I'm going to see if I can't catch up with Dylan Brockwell. User was moved I'm going to jog down to victory lane as long as Sam doesn't put the camera on me. We should be good. And uh, <laughs> here he is, Dylan Brockwell, back and Victory Lane here in the Truck Series, how does it feel? Uh, it feels really good. It's been a long time. Um, I'm not sure if I can remember everybody who I need to thank. Um, of course, all y'all at Noble Motorsports for putting on an awesome league. Everybody in the broadcast booth for all the live uh, updates and stuff like that. Putting it on Facebook. It's uh, pretty cool to be a part of this, and it, it does feel good to be back. Looked pretty good to be back, too, from my vantage point. Tell you what, Dylan, on that last pit stop, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and say it. I thought Kenny Baum Jr. had it won when he flew past you guys just coming out. Did you think the same, or did you think you'd be able to pedal up and catch him? I figured we'd be able to catch him um, just based on strategy. I guess he didn't take any tires there, and it hurt him on track. Um, 
I thought he would at least take two. But it was it was a good race between him, Dave, and Mitch there before he got a penalty. Just an awesome race tonight. Certainly was. I know you already thanked a few people, but do you have any else you'd like to thank here for this win? Um, not really. I pretty much mentioned it. Everybody at Noble, all y'all in the broadcast booth, Sam Bass Galleries, Dave for the pit strategy again. Um, it some good teamwork yet again. It's been a while. There you have it. Been a while, but he's back in victory lane, and I am definitely not a stranger here in victory lane in the truck series. Dylan Brockwell, congratulations on your win. We'll see you next week. Thank you, Ben. See y'all. There you have it. Didn't dominate like he did last season, but I tell you what, at the end of this thing, he was right there when it counted, and I'm I'm really surprised. Kenny Bob Jr. didn't put up a bigger fight than he did, but uh, when you got a guy with fresh tires come up on you, it's really not, there's really nothing you can do. Congratulations to Dylan Brockwell, winner tonight. We would have done the top three, but it's only me here in the booth, and I'm already worn out as it is. <laughs> These guys don't pay me enough here at Noble. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Dylan Brockwell, your winner tonight. Kenny Baum Jr. comes home second. Dave Washington was third. Joetic fourth. Milt Matisse rounds out the top five. Mitch Lennon rebounds to finish sixth. Brian Tay seventh. Kevin Carr eighth. Dual John Boldrin comes home ninth. Wyatt Wolf tenth. Leandro Schmidt is eleventh. Ross Cato twelfth. Alex Baleo thirteenth. 14th to Stephane Brunel, 15th, Chris Sercoy. Mike Arn was 16th, 17th, Andy Kessler, 18th, Doug Blackman. Charles Lemaire was 19th, Chris Herlow was 20th, Wallace Boyce, 21st, 22nd, Kevin Ford, 23rd was David Camara, and Nathan Schifflet rounds out the field in 24th. Well, let's uh, see how our picks ended up after the race. Sam mentioned it. I wasn't going to, but Kenny Baum Jr., Sam's pick, comes home second. Mine, Mitch Lennon, comes home in sixth. That means Sam Taylor, our producer, and the Brit, wins the, the pick, wins the pick, um, the, the, the pick rama tonight. That's what we'll call it from now on. So uh, tune in the next couple of weeks to see who wins the championship in the Picarama right here on Noble Network One. That's <laughs> that's gonna do it for us, though. We thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed. For everybody at Noble Motorsport, everybody at Noble Network One, Sam Taylor, I am Ben Kilcrease. Have a great night. Be safe on the roads, and remember to put the put the phone. Oh.